Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it's with great pride that I'm sharing with you an unboxing PMC's new 2523 eyes. Their whole eye series is a refreshment of their range. They're prestigious, uh, amazing speakers, compact but beautiful sounding with the most amazing bass response from these sort of mid-sized if not compact floor standing speakers. The standard series, the non-eyes, have been revolutionary as far as their ability to couple well with all sorts of frequencies in all sorts of rooms. Their transmission line design and other things has been, um, I mean, second to none. It's beautiful. Their eye series is a lovely little tweak, a little refinement. They've had a little bit more time, a little bit more care, and the results are astonishing. So, let's have a look. Now, firstly, of course, these are shipped in pairs. So there's two boxes. They're shipped identically, they're packed identically, so we're just going to unbox one. But please hang around for some photographs. You'll see uh, close-ups of all of them and, of course, the pairs. Unboxing speakers of this size is relatively straightforward. Um, upright, you kind of get an understanding of what the packaging is like. Opening it is easy. It's uh, a simple sort of craft knife across the clear packing tape. Now it's worth mentioning, or putting at a glance, that the first thing you'll see in the boxes is a, you know, steady the loudspeaker cabinet while um, removing from the carton. Uh, there's all sorts of things as far as warnings. Plus there's a bit of information there uh, about how to bolt the um, feet, the outrigger feet on. There's a really comprehensive brochure and uh, information guide on um, both the speakers and all sorts of things, as well as the ability to register and get a 20-year warranty on their speakers. 20 years! Okay. Now, the accessories, which are these, are pretty straightforward. The box is sealed with a sticker. And in it is the accessories associated with the outrigger feet. These are stainless steel, very heavy weight, brilliantly machined for the purposes of um, the recessing the nuts, bolts and screws. So there's two, in, in each of the accessory cartons, there's two outrigger feet. There is a series of bolts. There's four hex bolts. Uh, to uh, tighten and uh, get those outrigger feet into the speakers themselves. There's a large, nuggety, good quality Allen key, and of course that's to um, tighten up the nuts. And then the most hilarious spikes. They're just amazing. They're just awesome. Screw them in from the top, allowing the speaker to be leveled and, and rock free very, very easily in the home. The spikes penetrate all the way through all sorts of carpets and underlay straight through into the floor to give um, really good grip and, and, and uh, control as far as being able to level the speaker and, uh, and get it operating as it should in your home. So there are four of those. And then to match that, and I won't take them out of the packaging, to match that we've got uh, four cups if they're going on a hardwood floor and some accessories as washers and other things to separate the feet from the uh, base of the speaker. Uh, there's six of those in total, um, maybe uh, maybe eight actually, I'll check later. Now the next thing you see in the top, because of the finish of this product, this is a gloss black. Now they call it diamond black in the range, but they do a lovely walnut, and that's probably my favourite, but the gloss is a stunning, um, stunning colour. They add a cleaning cloth to ensure that you can uh, buff your fingerprints out after you've moved them around the house. Now, my recommendation with any keyboard product is always to lift the box off the speaker or amplifier, not the speaker out of the box. So, it's a simple enough process. Fold the flaps in, in preparation, and then lift. Now, like any, um, any packaging, if it fits like a glove, they've thought about how 
um, how they're going to protect their product. Okay. So you will see that the speaker is protected on all corners and sides with the closed cell foam. Raising this one off, you see an, a, a part of it that is normally nestled in here, and probably with me dragging the box off, it's come away. And that protects the, the top of the speaker. There is a, um, a sticker here reminding you to put the outrigger feet on. Spin it round, you'll see that there's also the grill. And this part slides off. In fact, this is the base of the speaker, so I'm sliding this now past the crossover network. If you get the opportunity, you should probably flip it around and slide it off the top. It may be a little bit easier. You can see I've had no issues. As far as removing the grill, it's magnetic, and so it's held in place with both the closed cell foam and the remaining sort of magnet magnetism associated with the grill on, on the speaker. The grill itself is protected by a large bag, which is uh, sealed closed, meaning that you need to trim the bag open to enable you to gain access to the grill. The grill has a PMC logo at the bottom and cutaways at the back ensuring that the main drive units are, are, are left acoustically transparent and only have the grill cloth in front of them. There's a scallop associated with uh, creating a little bit of um, rigidity in the frame and ensuring it can't chatter and then another one at the base for the um, port. Taking the speaker off the last piece of closed cell foam is relatively straightforward. Simply lift it and away you go. Now again, just bring your attention to the sticker at the top here. Uh, it is reminding you yet again that it's expected to have some outrigger feet. So that's probably what we will do. Removing the sticker allows you to then gain access to the cloth bag that has protected the gloss finish in transit. And it's a good idea at this point to pause. Firstly, I'll show you the massive nuggety mounting points where those feet will go. And the process of, of adding the feet is very, very straightforward. Add the rubber washer, grab a couple of the, um, the bolts, and it's very, very easy to line all this up. I mean, it's always been beautifully engineered, as you'd expect with any speaker of this quality. Now, once you've sort of got them finger tight, the last should be done with the Allen key that they provide. So very, very straightforward as far as fitting those feet. Now we'll just sort of bring them to a, a loose tightness and then continue so that we can have a look at the rest of the speaker. Lifting it off, you see the classic design of PMC. This, this iconic design has been part of PMC's heritage for years. They've added dual ports with most of their floor standing speakers and a waveguide ensuring that the air flow through it uh, is very well managed. In fact they've spent a, a, a very large amount of time and effort ensuring that this is the very best uh, way of managing the air to intake into the port, allowing for no chuffing whatsoever. In fact, speaking of the port, that is part of the sort of transmission line. They call it an ATL, so Advanced Transmission Line Design. Basically, the drive unit is attached to an elaborate series of um, sort of cabinet ducts, ensuring that they've get it, they're getting over two meters of actual sort of port length before you see the outside world. It means that the speaker can be tuned like no other as far as its ability to grip and control the low frequencies. Sure, it's a compact speaker, so it's never going to fill an auditorium with thunderous bass. But you would be amazed at how, how deep these go and how they grip the low frequencies at, um, at, at mid to loud volumes. PMC, once assembled with their feet, always rock back slightly. That is the nature of their design. And so you sort of see that angle. And again, that's, that's part of what uh, PMC have done so well. They feature a very well protected tweeter at the top that you can see. And again, hang around for all the photographs. We'll see some close-ups and PMC's signature 
five, five and a half inch um, bass driver. The frequency response of these is stunning. Despite their very compact size, they're, they're under a meter, so say 900 millimeters high, they get down to 28 hertz. Now that is the domain of much, much bigger multiple driver speakers. So they've clearly worked very, very hard on the crossover networks and other things to perfect that, and obviously the transmission line and its ability to couple so well with the driver and ensure that that bass can be delivered. Looking at it from the side, you'll see again it's not very deep, and it's the back that we see a few of the other things. The desiccant bag and the five-way rhodium binding posts that are now the signature appeal of the PMC speakers. The back plate is where the crossover network is, and just above it is the model and serial number and a lovely little badge. The fit and finish of these binding posts, by the way, is, is, is superb. It's absolutely lovely. Really, really charming. And you can easily see the delineation of uh, red and black for positive and negative. So, there we have it. PMC's brand new uh, 2523 eyes, compact, prestigious floor standing speakers, unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.